My grandfather worked on pomegranates for about 40 years. He was a simple man. He was no scientist, but he was an avid horticulturist. And he brought a lot of pomegranate germplasm over from Lebanon in the Middle East and started a breeding program in Camarillo, California. And he developed about 15 pomegranate varieties. Growing up, I lived by my grandfather, so I was able to taste his pomegranates and grew to love them. Every time one of his grandchildren was born, he would plant a tree for them. So as I was growing up, every time a cousin was born, a new tree was planted for them. There was a tree for me that I'd visit at a very young age, and as soon as it started producing fruit, I would get the first fruit off of the tree. So here we're sitting at a uh, pomegranate cultivar trial at UC Riverside in Agricultural Operations. We have two cultivar trials total, one here at UC Riverside, one in uh, Ventura County on the coast. We are doing this pomegranate trial to determine which cultivars would be beneficial to growers and which cultivars grow best on the coast versus inland. There's a great diversity in terms of the varieties of pomegranates we have available to us. So I think it's important to investigate these and to see which ones are good for consumers, which ones do consumers actually like to eat. If we take a good look through a scientific lens at how these pomegranates perform in different climates for growers and for consumers, we can perhaps select a few that would increase the uh, consumer demand for the fruit and provide a food source that is healthy have a pomegranate rather than a Snickers bar, I think would be a good end product of this research.